Hey, what's going on, Bingers? Binge Pulse here, back again with another video. This one I'm going to be doing my review for the fourth and final installment of the Ip Man franchise, Ip Man 4, the finale. This one here, it takes place about 10 years after the uh, third one, and this film stars Donnie Yen, uh, Wu Li, Vanessa Wu, Scott Atkins, and Danny Chan who plays Bruce Lee. As far as the film goes, I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was a good, decent finale for this martial art franchise. Donnie Yen does a great job, and I, I'm really glad that they brought in Scott Atkins to be the final adversary towards Donnie Yen. Wilson Yip directed this film as, along with the uh, first three films, which he does a great job. Color palettes in this movie are really good. All the fight scenes are edited really well. You can actually see what's going on in these edits. It gives us a good experience for all these fight scenes. The performances are great. You get a sense of illness in Ip Man's character. He actually has throat cancer throughout the film where he's just more of a tired look on his face. One of the things I didn't like with the film, the message in it involves racism. And though I, I think it's a, a good message to bring in, in film, this movie does pushes it a little bit too far in a sense of the script, unfortunately, just kind of takes away from the film. I personally would have just had Scott Atkins' character be the racist character, minus 50 to 75 percent of the characters that we see in this film, which Donnie Yen's It Man does a great job bringing in those characters together and then towards the end the final fight which was phenomenal by the way it was one of the best fight scenes out of the whole franchise i really enjoyed it the sense of illness and and this adversary that just not only wants to fight it man but wants to practically put him down like i feel as if like if he wanted to if donnie yin's character was to die this character that was fighting him wouldn't feel remorse for it so i feel as if it, he was a, a bigger threat another problem i have with this film is we really don't get a lot of donnie in especially in the first half of the movie yes he's in there we get the interactions but there's a lot of focus on some of the side characters that we don't see a lot of their characters later on in the movie an example is the the little girl who's chairman's daughter we have a, a long scene of, of her being mistreated by characters by kids and yes she plays a decent role in the film but i feel as if there's nothing else there beyond the conclusion of the film we switch back to it man's son which he he's not in the vast majority of the film because he's in china the plot is it man going to San Francisco to find a better life for his son. His final task is to bring his son out of China into the States where he can have a better life. Back in the 60s, it was a necessity to be in the United States to be successful. Overall, it's a great film. It's not my favorite in the franchise, but I feel it's a respected conclusion towards the series. I feel like it's a, it's a good franchise to have in my generation so overall i'm going to give the movie a 3.5 out of 5 tell me what you guys think of the movie like and subscribe until next time keep on binging <laughs>